Church, I wanted to bring to your attention something that we are going to be doing throughout the month of February. We wanted to highlight some of our missionary partners, the organizations, the people who are doing the work of the gospel at the far reaches of the world. And so we are going to be doing some interviews. We're going to bring to your attention uh, some work that they're doing. And you can, you can kind of jump in. You can get to know them. You can understand the work that they're doing. And uh, we're going to give you opportunity through Inspire Challenge to support some of them or find out ways that you can support them. And most importantly, as we're doing this series on prayer, that you would be able to pray with them, be prayer partners and support them and lift them up in the work that they're doing around the world. Check it out. All right. So we are recording now. And uh, why don't why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah. So my name is Joshua Ernst. Um, I was born and raised in Ottawa. Uh, my family goes to Southgate. Um, and right now I'm on uh, missions. Uh, currently I'm in uh, YWAM. It's, it stands for Youth with a Mission. Uh, and I'm in the base in Kona, Hawaii, actually, um, doing some training. Uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'll kind of get more into that in a minute. But. Cool, yeah. You're in, you're in Kona, Hawaii. Like, Co- yeah. like uh, Co- is Kona, is that an island or is that a town? It's, it's the big island. So the big island, okay town is called Kona, the Kona coast. Yeah, I've had, a, I've had, I've been there and I've had a cup of coffee there at the coffee shop right in the, watching the surfers. Beautiful spot. Yeah. Beautiful really spot. Nice. So yeah, like YWAM, what does YWAM do? Yeah. So the kind of goal for YWAM is to just train up and uh, really love on young people to send them out into missions. Um, And it's just a big group of uh, young people just really trying to seek the Lord uh, and then bring the gospel to the nations. That's kind of our our goal uh, is to reach the nations, reach the isolated. Um, So, yeah, they have a bunch of different schools uh, of uh, Bible studies and um, training programs and such. Um, So right now I'm just on staff. Um, uh, But what that means is I still raise all my support. Uh, and I just, I live here um, and I'm just partnering with them and really going at it. Cool. And so what, what specifically are, is your responsibility right now? Cause I know last year it looked a little different and maybe you can get into that, but what does, uh, yeah, maybe just tell what, what was last year like, and then what is this currently yeah. what you're doing? So last year I was in one of their schools. Um, it was a full on uh, Bible school for three months. Uh, and then I would do, I did three months on outreach phase. Um, and what that outreach phase looked like is I went to Solomon Islands uh, and did a bunch of Bible distribution uh, in really remote places that haven't uh, read the Bible in their own language. Um, so that was super, super cool. Um, that was kind of last year. It was uh, just a time for a lot of personal growth uh, and just getting, yes, really excited to go onto the field. Um, and that's kind of what that school would look like. That was here again in uh, Kona. Uh, so that was, yeah, I, I explained it a lot like a retreat, uh, just a full on 24 uh, seven going after it, uh, just really building your foundation, your faith. And then, uh, and then I went out and did a bunch of di- Bible distribution. It was crazy fruitful and super fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was kind of what last year looked like. Um, that was in, yeah, that was in July of 2019. Um, and then I went home, um, worked for a bit, and now I'm back. Um, I d- I'm doing a two-year commitment with uh, the base I'm on. Um, and what that looks like right now is um, I'm pretty high up in the kitchen right now. So I'm making a lot of food uh, for the base. Uh, alongside, I'm doing a bunch of local ministry. Um, so my local ministry is we reach, um, different communities, uh, and we make food for them twice a week. Um, and then we hang out with them, give out the food, socially distanced, and then we just kind of all separate and talk, talk stories, super fun. And it's super, uh, rewarding to kind of build up relationships with the people that, um, are my neighbors are, you know, yeah. um, so 
that's kind of my time right now. Uh, that's that's going to be lasting for um, around three more months, two and a half months. Uh, and then I'll be helping lead the school that I took last year. Oh, so, wow, okay. yeah, so that's, that's kind of, that's a really, this is kind of all new to me too. I've just been really praying into what the Lord has for me uh, next and uh, just felt confirmation and peace on to uh, helping out with that school. Uh, so that'll be in April. Um, and, and I'll be discipling, coming along other people that are going to be doing the school. Um, and then, yeah, really just putting my full effort into that and just seeing what God does through that. Yeah, it's kind of cool. the plan. So, so over the last few years, last couple of years here, what, like, if there's, what is like the best, whether it's like a God story, uh, what's, what's like the coolest thing that you've experienced in those last two years? Yeah. I'll tell you an outreach story. I think this is so cool. Um, so it was when we were in Solomon Islands. Um, we were in the cap capital of Solomon Islands called Honiara. Um, and we we went to this village pretty far out. So we took like a, a, a dump truck. We took a dump truck like a three hours back into the jungle. Uh, and then we hiked around like two hours backpacking uh, to this village that has never accepted any foreigners before. So they've just, yeah. they never have, they, they've had opportunities, but they just felt let's do it this time. Uh, so it was really, really honoring uh, for us to do that for the first time. Um, and a whole goal on that little trip was just to uh, really show Christ in a cool way, you know, like not to go in there and try to preach at them or uh, try to go, go, go but we just wanted to live with them and really honor them. Um, so that trip was, we were in the jungle for a week, uh, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Um, and when we got there, it, they were super closed off um, in the church. Um, it was very religious. It was, um, yeah, it was a little, it was, it was a little weird. Uh, just because I think it, it, it was, they were just nervous and yeah. But anyway, we just started building relationships, just eating with them, cooking with them. Uh, and the week went by and we were able to start sharing stories in the church, which they didn't let us do at the um, start at all. So we just kept on seeing little things build up to the point where the relationship was really getting strong. Um, and, oh, this is, this is such a cool time for me. Just even talking about it makes me so happy. Um, and by the end of it, uh, we were crazy involved in just their day-to-day -day life. And it was so fun. Um, and our last thing to really honor them was we, we prayed and we were just like, how should we leave uh, uh, and just bless them? Um, so then we all decided we would wash their feet just in a um, physical, like, representation of just we're, we're serving you, you know? Uh, so we got the village of uh, about a hundred people uh, and we spent hours just washing their feet. Uh, we got set up buckets everywhere. Our team just washed their feet. Um, and it was just trying to really show Christ through us. Um, and it was crazy. The amount of uh, amount of stories that came out of that, of the people saying like, we wanted to serve you, but you served us. And it was just super um, I don't know, touching. I don't know. Yeah, that's I, I love that story just because I think Christ worked so much in their heart to let us live with them, you know, and then we were able to kind of leave them with that blessing. So that's kind of a cool story. And they'll that. probably remember that for they'll they'll remember that for a long time, right? Yeah. Like they were taking us to rivers and stuff and we were like and they said, no foreigner has ever seen this water. You know, it's like, it's pretty remote. So that's cool, yeah. man. So, so I, I think it's pretty neat, pretty neat uh, that you're, you know, you felt led and called to, to do this and that you're following through with that man. And, and uh, I don't know, like that, that does make, I know your parents are super proud of you, but yeah. it does make like 
uh, me proud to hear, hear what God's doing in your life and, and the stories that you have and, and how you're just kind of pressing into what he has next for you. And I think that's super, super honorable and really, really cool. And so if, yeah. people, if people want to, if they want to support you, if they want to come alongside with you, if they, if they wanted to maybe if they want to get an update or pray for you, what, how could they do that? Yeah. Um, the best, best way would be to, uh, to message me on Facebook. That, that's a great way. And I can just get your email, get your contact. Uh, and I would love to set up calls and just, uh, send you newsletters. Uh, I try to really be intentional with sending newsletters off, uh, once a month and just to keep everybody posted back home on what's happening. Um, and what you can be praying for and how I can be praying for you. Uh, just because I really like to be intentional on that. Uh, but yeah, just, I think messaging me and then we can kind of figure out, um, emails and stuff. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, I, I appreciate, uh, I'm going to, going to stop recording this in a minute, but I uh, appreciate your time and, and, uh, you kind of given us an update and people can, uh, opportunity to connect with you. Yeah. And then one more thing, um, just something you guys can be praying for as a church. Um, I agree to, um, leading an outreach to Panama for at least five months. So that's pretty big. Whoa. Um, so that I'll, I'll be um, taking the school that I'm staffing. Uh, so I'll be leading a team of probably five to six young people to Panama. So I'm starting to learn the language now, uh, starting to make contacts now, but that should be, if you could, that could just be in your prayers. And uh, so it's pretty big, but I'm super stoked uh, that that opportunity came out for me. So. Uh, and when is that? That'll be um, July. July, okay. Should be. Yeah, I think. Or I might be messing with dates, but it's it it's it's in six months. Okay. So coming out. Well, well that's super cool, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah we will we will be uh, lifting you up in prayer. Thank you.